Hey there, it's Coach C, and welcome to The Daily C, your daily dose of vitamin C, your shot of inspiration, motivation, and just coaching all things Coach C. I, uh, today, I don't know if this is gonna be inspirational or not. There is, uh, today, this weekend has been insane. It's already Sunday, and uh, just been back to back between, and. You know, I'm really aiming for lopsided balance somewhere in my life, but I'm just going with it because right now there's a lot more lopsided than there is balance. And I thank my friend Randy Zuckerberg for that distinction uh, from Pick 3. But this uh, this weekend, the, uh, you know, Friday we found out that my eldest son, who is uh, 17 and turning 18 very soon, that he... Um, got accepted to the university of his choice into the program of his choice, which we weren't sure what was going to happen because we weren't sure, you know, you don't, you never know. And, um, he's just so over the moon about it. He's so over the top, but the reality hit me kind of today that, uh, you know, he's going to be going away to university in the fall and that's my eldest, that's my baby. And what hit me harder was how fast that 17 years went. And I've always tried to be someone who lives my life fully and I try to be present as much as humanly possible. I'm not always present, but that is really the end game in mastering oneself is to be where you are when you are there. And the interesting thing about him going off to university is I, it dawned on me how fast that 17 years went. And um, I'm, you know, I don't know how to feel. I am a little, I feel weepy. I feel excited for him. I'm, you know, really excited for him. And, um, and I just, I'm like, wow, my baby is 17. He's going to be 18 in August and he's going away. He's going to school. He's going to leave the house. And, you know, all the, the things that you worry about as a parent in, you know, from the beginning, it's more, everything's about their safety. Are they okay? Are they okay? Worrying about them. And I'm not a helicopter parent. I really do try to have them figure it out themselves. Um, I, you know, do my best to give them the tools that they need to be successful. And I really uh, aim for them to be resilient. And I know that he has gone through his own struggles and his own stories. And I, I do believe that all human beings go through all of those things. You know, it's kind of a rite of passage from the time that we're, you know, zero to four, we're sponges and our, our brains are, you know, just absorbing anything. And by the time you're five and six years old, really, you've been molded in your behavior patterns by watching other people, by watching what they're up to and what they're doing. And, you know, I am not, I'm not a perfect parent. I don't believe in perfect parenting. I don't think there is such a thing. I've lost my temper. I have regrets. I, I do. I think all parents do. And, uh, but I also know that I'm a great parent to my kids. I know that um, I'm human, just like everybody else, and I'm proud of him. And I know at the end of the day, here's the reality. He knows I love him, he knows I'm proud of him, and he knows I will go through a wall for him. I will do whatever it takes to make sure he succeeds, but it's not my success, it's him. And there are certain things I won't do. Like I, I don't do their homework. I don't hire a tutor for every single subject that they have. I don't do those things. They've got to figure this out. And he has. And I'm really proud of him for that. And I have to really start to come to grips with the changes that are happening. My baby's going to university and it's hard and it makes me feel weepy. And then today also, you know, my daughter's turning 16 this year. She's going to have her sweet 16 and we've started shopping for her sweet 16 dresses for her girlfriends who are having sweet 16s and it's exciting and oh my gosh it's just wow it's going so fast I don't know about any of you but sometimes I feel like time has sped up in the last decade it's just going faster than I ever remember it to be in the past and I think the only thing I have access to is um, being present and, and being where I am, which means mastering my mind, mastering any emotions that are useless and a waste of time, like guilt, like I wasn't a great mom, or I didn't do it right, or I should have done this, or I should have done that. All of those things are just conversations and noise, 
And that's used to keep me out of being present and being powerful with my kids and being powerful in my life. So I try really hard to get rid of those emotions and or trans shift them, shift the context. Because who says that? You know, we're all doing the best we can with what we have. And it doesn't matter whether your circumstances are incredible and you've, you, you're doing amazing. You know, if you read the statistics, often kids who come from extremely wealthy families and they inherit wealth, those kids end up, you know, getting in a lot of trouble. And, and my kids aren't like that. We're just a normal average family. We work hard. We work hard for what we have and we've done well and we're successful in, in some areas, but we work really hard at it. So, and we don't hand our kids everything. We make them work for it. And um, I think one of the best things uh, that we did give our kids from an early age is participating in very competitive sports. All three of our kids are highly competitive athletes. Uh, Blake, um, sorry, my eldest played um, uh, double A and triple A hockey. He played uh, high level lacrosse and he plays rugby for the varsity team at his school. And I think giving those uh, things to the kids, and my daughter's also a competitive dancer, and my youngest is a hockey player right now, and probably baseball, um, but giving them tools that you know require them to dig deep, find their passion, to keep pushing through something when they wanna quit. Those are skills that as an entrepreneur, we need those things. As any business leader, you need those skills. You need to have access to the fire in your belly. And I think competitive sports gives kids the advantage to have that fire in their belly. So I shared this one with you today. I don't know if it's inspiring or if you're out there and you're going through the same thing where your eldest has gone off to university or you're feeling a little bit unsettled because of that or uncertain. That's me in a nutshell. Um, I'm proud as punch that he got into the university of his choice. And I'm really excited for what this year is gonna bring. Thanks for joining us on the daily day of Coach C, on the Daily C with Coach C. And uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us, share us. Uh, Instagram, it's Coach C Official. And Facebook, it's Christine Nielsen or Contrast Consulting. And we'll talk more about the rebranding and all of the great things that we have coming up uh, this week, actually. But uh, there you go. Thanks for joining.